Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about Visual Studio Code and very specifically two extensions that are going to benefit you so much. And if you're like me and using Visual Studio Code as your main IDE or editor, and then you're using like multiple projects and Visual Studio Code at the same time, this is going to save tons of time for you. So let's just follow and find out what can we do to just improve our productivity with these two extensions. So if you go to extensions and look for project manager, Uh, we have it, this one here. So if you install this project manager extensions, which is exactly this icon and everything else, it's going to give you this icon or this like this icon on the left side in this toolbar. And what it's going to do basically is that you are going to add your projects, the projects that you're going to work on this list. So next time, if you want to switch projects, that's not going to be like, for example, you not you don't have to go to terminals or you don't have to go to the file menu and then choose it. All you have to do, basically, you're going to the this tab on the left side and then choose your projects. And if you have a new projects, all you have to do, for example, I have a new project which is not in the list. So all I have to do, I'm going to go to project manager and then add it here as well. So I can give it any name that I want. So I can just use it as my project name and it will appear here in a few seconds. There we go. It's here. Now I have all the list of projects that I'm working on constantly here. And if I want to switch is as easy as clicking on them. Let me just make this one actually a bit smaller. And this one as well. So I'm going to also open one more project as well. So this is another project. I'm going to close this one. Okay, there we go. Now we have another project. As you can see, it's very seamless. And all you have to do is to just so go to project manager and just click on the project that you're working on. And if there are a lot of them, you can just add the search bar and or you can tag them. You can just do a lot of uh, quite a lot of things. But now that you have all of these things, if you're working on two, for example, Visual Studio Code, uh, and two projects at the same time. One, for example, is backend, one is frontend. It would be also annoying to just find out which one is the frontend, which one is the backend, or which one is, for example, project A, which one is project B. One way to fix it is to use another extension that I use, and it's called Peacock. So this is Peacock, and if you're going to install this one, all it's going to give you is going to let you organize your Visual Studio code by different colors. For example, if you're working on this one, all I have to do is to do Command Shift P or Control Shift P and then search for Peacock. And then you can just change the color. For example, I want this one to be green. So all the time, if I am in the project Virate example, it will be green. And if I am in a different project, which is, for example, Golang Deep Functions, Control Shift P. So I can just enter a color or surprise me with a random color. So I'm going to use blue for this one. And also here, the same thing. And I can enter a color, I can go darker, I can just change it, I can do a lot of things. But I'm going to just wait for another surprise color. So we have now three colors, it's much easier to just identify projects. So now if you can see by changing all of them, I have a new file called VS Code. In a VS Code, there is a settings. And in the settings, it's going to add basically these settings into like this project. If you're going to add it to the Git, then everyone can just have it and everyone will have the same functionality and same color scheme uh, for different projects. And it's gonna make everybody's life much easier, trust me, because if you're going to work on a few things and if you're going to open them uh, quite, of, quite often, you're gonna have problem of just identifying which Visual Studio Code is which project. So now you have them both here. So you have like different colors. You have also a project manager that you can switch very easy. So I'm using these two and I just wanted to share these two as well with you. So thank you so much for watching this video. And if you like this kind of videos, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to put more content soon. So thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.